When I was a very little boy, my parents would take me out to nature to see waterfalls and walking around in different kinds of um, wooded areas around, around the D.C. area where, where I grew up. And then we would also spend the rest of the day then going downtown to museums. Uh, so, and then and every now and then my father would, would say, when, when, you, when you grow up and you have lots of money, uh, if you would please buy me that. And he'd point at something that was unattainable or some gigantic dinosaur or something like that. Something, something impossible to, to, to give him. And it would be very cute and funny and very lovable of him to do that. And he did that every time we go to the museums. Yeah, all the time. It was his trademark kind of thing to do. So the mini museum was shaped from my father and my mother taking me to all these different wonderful places and the discussions we would have. I also felt that people, when they knew about meteorites and they knew about how the solar system works and, and they knew more about dinosaurs and things you could find deep in the ground, and when people understood different historical events, and one could learn from, from all this. You'd learn different things, um, good, bad, but things that you could really apply to your life, and also things you could just uh, dream about, you could just reflect on, and talk about, and be excited about. Um, all of that together, I wanted to share all that uh, with everybody. That to me is what this mini museum is about. It's about inspiring, and nurturing, I just desperately want people to appreciate each other and the world and all the amazing fun things we can learn together. And that I feel that we can only enjoy all of this world if we can enjoy each other. I hope I've conveyed an image of why I, why I do what I do. And there's one more thing, actually. I think also as a product, this is the best I can give, I think. I think this is just the best idea I could come up with. I think this is the most important, the most nurturing, the most inspiring. And I, and I think also that that's something that everyone here in the office feels about this, this project, about the Mini Museum project. Um, I think we all feel like this is some of the best that we can give. This is some of the best of us that we can do, that we can produce. And so when we make these, every, I mean, every piece, it's like, it's a quarter of a million pieces uh, that we need to make in order to make a whole edition of Mini Museum. And we put real careful effort into each little piece we make. Uh, it's funny how when we make these and put these together and we look at some of them, we can remember, those of us who've made these different pieces can remember sometimes that piece. We look at them and go, yeah, I, I really feel like I remember that piece right there. And, and, and we do. And then we have people who write to us and call us and email us unsolicited. They send us pictures and send us thanks because they're really amazed and, and, and really happy and really grateful for all the inspiration that they get from, from the mini museum. So every day in our offices, we are humbled trying to figure out how we can use these iconic and important specimens that we have and present them in a way that's gonna be wonderful, that's gonna be amazing, and that will somehow make things better than things were yesterday. Thank you very much for allowing us to share our, this story with you. Um, hope that this has been inspiring. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.